Hi, Steve here at the SJCOE Fat Lab with Google Drawings. Uh, it is a really powerful tool for making hyperdocs and, and drawings, as, as you might guess, uh, but it's also really useful uh, as a whiteboard. I, I know, immediately you're thinking, well, there's Jamboard. Well, you can't always use Jamboard, and uh, there's also some great features for collaboration uh, in Google Drawings. So, so let's take a look. So uh, one of the ways that we can use it is just post-its for feedback. Uh, again, I know we could do that with Jamboard, but we can have really quick feedback from students. Um, let's say we had three possible answers. So here we have answer one, answer two, and answer three. And the students can all be logged in and move their post-it to their answer. Uh, we don't have to just make post-its uh, every time that we do this. We could have one drawing uh, that has post-its uh, with each student's name, and that's our template. Then we copy from that uh, and add in our content afterwards so that we don't have to uh, duplicate our work. I should point out, uh, it, it doesn't just have to be like immediate feedback. Uh, maybe we want there to be group work. So we can easily share uh, assignments to students in the Google Classroom, but wouldn't it be nice to be able to share to a group of students? So what we could do here is take, instead of this being answer one, we could call it assignment one. And once we do that, we can then hyperlink uh, because, again, uh, Google Drawing is a hyperdoc. I could link a file uh, within my Google Drive to that point. And anyone who was dragged over near uh, my hyperlink there uh, could just click on their group's document, and then they all have it uh, to use together. Just as long as it's been shared out to the class, uh, it makes it really clear who's using which shared document. All right, third way to be able to use Google Drawings uh, as an interactive whiteboard is for a gallery walk, uh, making it easy for students to share different types of assignments that they've done um, right in uh, a single document for everyone to see. For instance, uh, let's say there was a coding assignment. One student could drag in a file, like a screenshot of their work, and place it on their post-it. They could, again, hyperlink to their assignment so that others could then uh, check it out. The entire class could, could together uh, view and learn from each other's work. Uh, the fact that we can link a Google Drawing to other documents is really powerful. So uh, just to be clear, why to use Google Drawings? Well, it's, it's pretty easy to use. Um, it's hyperlinked. Uh, and one other great thing, we have a version history, so we can see uh, what's been done in the document. I hope this helps out. Uh, come on back for more tips. Have fun.